Welcome to Saintly Minute. Today is um, St. Oswald of Northumbria. So St. Oswald um, was a king of Northumbria, but before him was his father. He was king. Um, and then he dies. His uncle takes over. And when that happens, Oswald is sent um, somewhere else um, to a place that had been converted to Christianity by missionaries. So Oswald converts to Christianity. His uncle dies in battle. The following year, his brother dies in battle. And now they are basically at war with this, like, just horrible tyrant of a king. Um, and Oswald has now been king, right? Um, so things aren't looking good. King Oswald has this tiny, tiny, tiny army. Um, but they rode into battle anyways. And Oswald had a trick up his sleeve. So just before the battle starts, um, St. Oswald, King Oswald, he... Um, erected the sign of the Holy Cross, and on his knees prayed to God that he would assist his worshipers in their great distress. Um, he cries out, let us all kneel and jointly beseech the true and living God Almighty and his mercy to defend us from the haughty and fierce enemy. Okay, so when he does this, right, the other army is decimated, just gone. Just gone. So then because of this, when Oswald comes back to Northumbria, um, when he takes it back over, right, because he's fighting for it, he's the king, rightly, but he's fighting for it, that's what the war's about, um, he commands that all of his subjects convert to Christianity. So his battle um, in England, in Northumbria, ends up being a huge point in history for Christianity. Um, super cool. Super cool. So, to me, it kind of reminds me of, like, the times that we feel inadequate, the times that we feel too small to do something, or we're too, told we're too young to do something. Um, with Christ, all things are possible. And I know we hear that a lot. But, heck, St. Oswald went into battle knowing that his army could not beat this big, crazy, victorious army. And all he did was show the sign of the cross and pray. And... The enemy was gone. I don't know. Kind of makes me think that whenever I'm feeling inadequate or too small or too young or whatever it is, too old, um, that I just need to trust God and give it to him. So um, let's pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. St. Oswald, you are a true example of strength, of trust. And a true realist. You knew that without Jesus Christ you wouldn't succeed. So you made sure that the other army knew you had Jesus on your side. St. Oswald, I ask for your help during this quarantine time, just that we too can remember that Jesus is on our side and with him all things are possible. We'll never be too small or too young or too old, too out of shape. If we want it and we pray and we try hard, God has us. Amen. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thanks for tuning in to Saintly Minute. Um, today, Saintly Minute is a Sunday, so remember that tonight we have our live life night. Um, LFTN.co slash life night. One word, life night. Um, join us at 5 for that. And then we'll do our Zoom meeting afterwards with St. Rose. I'm super pumped for it, guys. Um, the topic is God, is God in the pain. Um, so it should be really, really good. So tune in tonight and we'll see you again tomorrow for our saintly minute.